I've done enough camping trips in this Model 3 by now to get a pretty good feel for the camping gear that I bring with me for winter trips. So I thought I'd do a video going over exactly what I actually bring with me. So this is just the start of what will eventually grow into my overlanding and camping kit once I get the Cybertruck. So it'll be neat to start here and track it over time as it evolves over the coming years. Up here, I'm not going to go too depth into it because I do have a specific video in mind in the future, but this is where I keep all of my charging equipment for keeping the car charged on the go. For everything else, I like to keep it condensed into as few bags as possible. Just my bag for the tent and then a duffel bag for everything else. Because when it comes to car camping, I don't want to have to dig through the car trying to find any individual piece of kit. Having it all in one bag makes it super easy to get in and out of the car. There's a few other things that are kept in the car. There's the privacy screen that I use for if I'm sleeping in an urban area. that lets me uh, keep what's going on on the inside of the car a little bit on the down low. I've also got a cheap set of Walmart traction pads that I've already used once to get out of a sticky situation on a recent camping trip. One of the most important pieces of kit that I don't really get to take with me on backpacking style trips is a camp chair. Also important to bring with a good pair of winter boots, you know, Baffin Sequoias. Can't really wear these while I'm driving, so these get swapped into. In the meantime, I just wear my trail runners. And as I showed off in my previous camping trip, I actually do have a dedicated tent that I bring with me. I can either sleep in the car like I did on the first trip I went on, or I can set up the tent and sleep in the tent. And the last thing before we start digging into this duffel bag full of gear is a shovel. Got to clear out a spot to put my tent or uh, if the car gets stuck, <laughs> help shovel snow out of the way. Let's go over everything that I've got in this massive duffel bag. It is February right now, but it is, it's been absurdly warm this entire winter. I'm not even wearing my first layer jacket but in here I've also got my uh, other jacket this whole kit the exact loadout that I have right now is designed to get me down to an overnight temperature of a bare bottom minimum of minus 20 degrees Celsius on the other end I've got my other coat but it ain't cold enough to need that on right now also in here I've got my tablet the Model 3 has a built-in infotainment system in that center console, but if I don't want to be sitting in the car, I do have my full-featured Microsoft Surface Go tablet, the detachable keyboard. All right, so first let's go through my actual sleep system. Pretty much the exact same that I have in my backpacking setup for minus 20. I've got my sleeping bag. This will get me down to zero degrees Celsius comfortably. I've got my liner, which adds another five degrees Celsius of comfort, which is the Thermalite Reactor Extreme. And then I've just got a big blue wool blanket, and that adds another five to seven degrees and then if i layer up with all of my clothes my jacket base layers everything nice and dry fresh pair that gets me all the way down to a bare bottom minus 20 degrees celsius temperature i've got my age-old climate inflatable sleeping pad same one that i've used for years i've got two four liter water jugs to get me a total of eight liters of water that i can carry with me <laughs> trying to film in nature sucks I've got my three liter titanium pot. I love this thing. This is my primary cook pot for the entirety of late fall, winter, and early spring. I've got my alcohol stove and fuel, a half liter of pure alcohol stove fuel, and a titanium alcohol stove, including the stand. I also have my little aluminum frying pan set. That basically gives me a frying pan, a bowl, which can double as a second frying pan, and a little pot, which can double as a third frying pan. It's only aluminum, but it's held up pretty well so far. Got my little Sea to Summit coffee mug that I have uh, in my backpacking kit. And then inside, I actually do have the 3D printed plastic funnel I made so that when I boil water to purify it, I can filter it into my giant water bottles there. This thing's a little dirty. It needs to be cleaned. It's got uh, crusty coffee and hot chocolate all over it. I got my food bag itself. Same one that goes in my backpacking kit. I don't have a dedicated cooler or anything to really lug around food in the car yet. So for now, I'm just basically going with the exact same setup that I do with backpacking. Just dehydrated stuff and stuff that keeps. A pair of gloves for working with the fire and anything hot so that I don't add any more holes to my poor backpacking gloves. Clothes bag full of a complete change of clothes, including a second set of base layers. A cleaning cloth. My Trichology inflatable backpacking pillow. This one's easier to clean if it gets dirty, whereas a regular pillow you know it's gonna absorb all kinds of nasty stuff a whole bunch of paracord in case i need some cordage in my little electronics kit i've got my giant 10,000 milliamp hour anchor battery bank my phone charging cables cables for charging the battery bank my little usb charger for AAA batteries and my AAA batteries for my headlamp i've had this for a while 
back from when I used to make bug out bag and survival content, <laughs> it's a sham wow towel. This, this does the job. It's a little bit dirty and kind of wrinkled up right now, but yeah, <laughs> this is my towel. A pair of tongs, which is really useful for screwing around with campfires, for moving pieces of wood around, adjusting the grill after it's been sitting in the fire. Don't underestimate the utility of having a pair of tongs. You recognize this bad boy, don't you? My 3D printed 15 inch buck saw. Everything on this is 3D printed except for the cordage and the blade. I've got my grill so I can put that over top of the campfire so I can cook and not have to see things directly in the coals. A little bit easier to control cooking that way. Got my little camp hatchet for splitting firewood. Ideally I want a larger firewood splitting axe but for now this is all I have. A little solar powered puck light that extends into a lantern. It illuminates the inside of my tent at night or the inside of the car. And then everything else that's in there is kind of small. I don't really want it swimming around in the giant duffel bag. So I do have a dedicated little pack to put everything in. I got my hygiene kit. So this has my toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant in the green bag that's in there, floss. I've got my multi-tool, just a Leatherman sidekick, which uh, I actually busted the tip off of this knife trying to <laughs> pry off the uh, tow hitch cover on this car back when I had to get it towed out. If you've stuck around with this channel for a long time, you'll recognize this. I've had this since the inception of my channel. It's a Mora Light My Fire. Really good, high quality knife that has a built-in ferro rod into the handle. Got a set of cutlery. I think this came in my Yugoslavian mess kit. So it's a little bit weird looking, but it does the job. My little 3D printed box here that has all of my fire starting stuff. I got a magnesium and flint in there. I've got a lighter and a whole bunch of fire starters. Poop tickets, cause you need those. A tiny little first aid kit just for, uh, it's basically an ouch pouch for little cuts and scrapes and burns and things like that. Not for anything major. And then the very last thing I have in here is my headlamp. And the best part is it all fits back here without even having to fold my rear seats down. Obviously the setup is pretty janky right now, but it'll be super interesting to see how it evolves over the coming years as we get the Tesla Cybertruck, the Aptera, and eventually build out an EV camper van with hopefully the Canoe MPD V2. I know the Tesla Model 3 doesn't seem like an adventure vehicle, but I'm gonna do my best to prove that it is. If you wanna see the crazy adventures I get up to with this thing, check on that card.